Hello everybody, this is Alpha and Arts, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, uh, me and Tulin made our way closer to the uh, first temple, uh, and I was just about to head back down to try to get the rest of the warm gear so Link doesn't freeze to death up here. Alright, let's uh, get going. It's been a little while since I played. Yeah, I believe we just got to a shrine, so I'll be able to teleport back up here. So we don't have to worry about that. I just want to get some money to get the rest of the, uh, Rutu gear. Are you, yeah, the Ryoto. Yeah. Where's Tulin? There he is, okay. So we're gonna head back down to the surface. We're gonna head to the village. Do you have to go somewhere, Link? Uh, I'll keep looking into whatever is going on with Princess Zelda and the blizzard while you're away. But soar back when you can. All right, we're off. So we're just going to go around, try to gather some more money, and uh, hopefully get enough rubies to purchase the other parts of this uh, armor. Um, right. Hopefully uh, the audio sounds okay with this. Um, First time recording this series uh, in a new method. I got a new Elgato along with uh, figuring out how to get the audio to go through my headphones. And uh, so we don't have that double, hopefully we won't have that double sounding audio anymore. Now, the armor shop's one more up I think. I just want to see what the prices are. Okay, we have the pants. We have the pants on. So we need to get 500 for that and 650 for that. Okay. And I don't think we have anything of massive value to sell. Uh, I think we sold all the gemstones in the last episode. Yeah. So I think there was some stuff in the underground, right? Some treasures. Oh, oh here we go. There we go. Yeah, we have a treasure map there and then there. So let's head back to this shrine here. Why not? Let's go see what that treasure is. As I said, it might, it might be some type of money. I don't really know. It's been a while since we've been to the depths, so uh, let's go look around. Alright, yep, there. Is there a way for us to mark it? Uh, it's been a while here. Nope. Yes, I want to head up. Watch, I won't be able to get to it from where I am now. I mean, it is darkness out that way. Oh, muddled bud. I want fire with a powerful odor that can disorient and confuse, make it, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. Okay. Probably should have taken a picture of that, but we'll probably find more of it. There's a big crevice of malice there. Is there a way around it? Hmm. Maybe if I go up and around? I 
mean, there's something over there. Let's take the camera out. Are they like malice keys? No, nope, they're just set up as keys. Okay. All right, let's go up and around here. Um, yeah. So I'm currently working on setting a few things up. Um, I think this is one of my first big streams since I've also uh, the first time I'm actually recording something since I've changed my logo. I hope you guys like that. Oh, there's a Zonite. I don't want to sell Zonite because I know that has a purpose. Okay. Um, it has to be. Where's the light stuff? Where is. No, I don't want the giant one here. There we go. Oh! There's some ruins down here. I didn't even realize that. Let's get some more of this. Zonite. Ooh, large Zonite. Zonite of especially high purity. The amount of energy concentrated in it allows for much higher power output than regular Zonite. Nice. Okay. Let's explore these ruins a little bit. Well, our treasure chest map should be actually around here. We're actually relatively close to it. Get a, little, a little higher up. Okay. Well, there it is. What's inside? Oh, miner's top. A shirt featuring lamps of various sizes filled with bioluminescent material made to help with excavating dark environments. Are we close to another tree? I probably should have uh, switched out the bow. Okay. A little lost civilization here. Yeah, if we do th keep doing this, we're going to run out of uh, arrows, but... So we're just going to keep venturing around this, I guess. Probably wasn't the best place to throw that, but... Uh, huh. Oh, a Malice Honox. Just what I've always wanted. I think that's not going to make a lot of noise. I know this is going to probably wake him up, but... Let's stay on the outskirts of that. There 
has to be a what's it called somewhere around here, right? Huh? What are these? Little will o' the wisps. Pell! Oh! A glowing spirit orb found all over the depths. Offer these to a bargainer statue for a variety of rewards. Huh. That's neat. Oh, there's one of the trees over there. Let's keep heading over that direction. There's a few po along, a lot of po along the way. I think that's a bargainer statue over there. Oh, that's one of the ones we've already been to. I thought we were, uh, we discovered something new, but apparently we have not. Oh, well. Are these things bargainer statues, though? Also, did I take a picture of wildflowers before? Oh. I mean, they're statues with their hands to the sky, but I don't know if those are bargainer. Probably not. There's a few of them. Huh. It's weird that I made my way just around. That I didn't see any additional, like, trees or anything in the darkness. I'm assuming I can take this away too. Uh, hmm. I don't know why that's there, but I can't take it away. And the next one's all the way down there. Um, I guess we can return back to the to here for now. Let's go look around for some more uh, shrines, I guess, in this area. Let's look around here. If I remember correctly, first off, it's like one, right? So let's, let's see if we can uh, rest for the night. I think the end's like right around here. If I was just doing that, I think it's a blood moon. We're only gonna stay in a regular bed. Till morning. 
Okay. No blood mood? Nope, doesn't look like it. Good. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, I forget where the one tree is. I know you can also do that now. Woo! So there's a newspaper place over there. The reason I keep doing that is because I know in the past some of them have led to holes that lead down into caves. Maybe? Can I soar? Yeah. Thought so. I know there's a side mission for them. But I'm not ready to take on yet. Additionally, what was the other thing I wanted to look at? This. There has to be a, one of the dragon symbols somewhere around here. I would love to see one of those if I can tonight. Let's look at the map, our actual map. That. Hmm. So like right around here, maybe? Oh, sounds like somebody's shooting off fireworks already. Uh, yeah, except I think you guys were probably used to that from last summer around here. But yeah, people like to shoot off Fireworks like crazy in these parts. Okay. Ow. Try to serve a team around these guys. We might need to improve our stamina a little bit. Alright, let's keep looking around. See if we find any caves or... I know there's the one spot where I can give an offering. And when upon giving an offering, you could show me the caves in the area. It doesn't stick, unfortunately, but it might help us find some more uh, rare minerals to turn in. Even though I, I think I was informed I probably shouldn't turn in the rare materials. And that they could add special effects, like rubies could add fire, but I kind of want the, the money. Oh, come on, another one. There's some ruins. I forget where I saw it, to be honest. Ah. Uh... 
I guess I could head over to the tower. Maybe that will allow me to see it better. Tulin's found me. Link, you're back. Come on. We've got more investigating to do. Okay. Was it expected to run into Tulin here, to be honest? To be frank with you, Tulin, I wasn't expecting to see you here. Let's go. Um... That's pretty cool. The <laughs> tool is just flying alongside me. Did I do this one already? I don't think I have. Nope. Saharo Shrine. Oh, Sario or something like that. I don't know. A shrine. Give us something to do here. Oh, there we go. I was wondering why all the stuff wasn't loaded up. What's in here? A from above. Okay. This just. Wow, that was an art puzzle. Okay, uh, no. Okay, here we go. There we go. All right, we're doing good so far. Aha. I, I know now. I've learned my lesson from the past. Okay, is this the legit way or is that the legit way? No, that's the treasure chest way, okay. Ta da Puzzle solved. Spicy elixir. Great and say high level warming effect, increasing your resistance to cold environments. Very useful when exploring snow covered mountains. Nice. I mean, I don't really think I need to worry about that now, but okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, like, oh, the door closed. Maybe I should have brought one of those boxes with me, but there we go. Alright, we're gonna make it into the next room. Um. Huh. 
Huh. How does this... Oh. <laughs> like, but how? How does one do that? That makes sense. I'm gonna try to do more of these puzzles without, you know, the little cheats. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Light a blessing. A crystal that glows to the light that purges the ancient evil and purifies with its radiance. Yay! I got all my hearts back. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Peace. <laughs> At least, uh, I'm just glad it's magical statues this time. I think I've mentioned this before. If not, Glad it's magical statues instead of just raw, uh, mummified uh, individuals. Someone's like, hey, so uh, what's going on? What, what, what was in there? Alright. Uh, Tulin, do you see a peak anywhere that has flowers? Like, I know it's a random question. Do you see a peak with flowers on them? But uh, let's keep looking around to see if we see any caves. I mean, that was interesting looking, but no cave. Okay, there's a. Lizard guy, there's one of the whiz robes. Let's try to find a cave. Oh, piece of the world fell down. Here, okay. okay there's a tower. Oh, there's another piece of the, the above area. What is it, Link? Are you going somewhere? <laughs> You're really going? Be sure to come back. Yeah, I, I'm going. Please don't plummet me to my death now. Thank you. Oh, I'm back at the horse stables. Huh. Hmm. All right, I'm going to teleport back here and then fly over. Yeah, I'm doing a lot of teleporting right now. I'm just trying to figure this out. I haven't played in a while, so I'm trying to get a lay of the land again. Well, the one lone Korok here. Oh, I want to say, have I seen any spoilers of this game, by the way? Uh, kind of? I, I don't know how it fits into the story at all. I'm not going to say it here, if anybody wants to go continue just watching it. But, yeah. 
Do do. There's a shrine all the way up there. Let's see what's all the way at the top. This is us, the, the tallest view, so I can hopefully see something. Looks like it's frozen, so I might not go be able to go too high up. I'm just hoping I can see where this... There it is, the cherry blossom trees. That's what I'm as after. Because that is where I can give an offering. I can give an offering of apples and it will show me where the uh, caves are. It sounds so different now listening to this through headphones. I like it. Yeah, I know it's taking me, what, a year plus of recording to finally understand certain things with uh, recording and the like, but. I'm slowly gonna, I'm slowly discovering stuff. One lone cherry blossom. Pretty much should put a symbol up here to signify it. There we go. Just until I, you know, eventually discover everything. And I need to find an apple. Oh, yeah. Forgot you had to do it this way. There they are. All the caves in the area. I'll take my apple back so I can use it again. Alright. So. I think I've been to the closer ones. I think if I teleport to the tower. Actually, even maybe up here. I might be able to find a few I haven't gone to yet. And the sooner I get money, the sooner I can go back up there. There might be some way to do it mathematically. Oh, is he tooling? I still have no idea where your sphere of influence is, but... Okay, we've already gone to that one. It seems like there's one further down, maybe that way. Have we gone to that one too? Hold on, hold on. I want to get back up here. We might fall, but... Good. We just barely made it. Okay, so that looks like we've explored that one. I wish the lights would tell you which ones you've already visited instead of it just being like, oh yeah, we'll leave this up to your imagination, which ones you've already seen. There's one. I don't think I've gone into that one yet. Right? Oh no, we have. 
Have we gone to all of this area? I don't know. No, oh, there's some over that way. Yeah, we definitely haven't visited those yet, I don't think. Alright, let's get going. Yeah, because there's a shrine over there I haven't even completed, so I'm assuming those four I haven't done yet. What the heck is that down there? Yeah, he's at a... Well, I'm dead. Yeah, kind of figured. I wasn't paying attention to my gauge. I think it's going to be right from where I was at that tower, right? Oh, that, that shrine. And there's a dog for you. You can hear all the noises tonight. Fireworks going off. Hey, you guys gonna hear fireworks and dogs. I just keep doing that way, so I'm not. Oh, is that the horse? Okay. So I don't like how he stops me. It's like, oh yeah, by the by. I think you're going a little bit too far. Let me just let you plumb it for a little bit. It's like, cool. Yeah, you kind of were telling me that I'm going a little bit too far away. Just the one time is all I needed. Okay, I already got that stuff. Yeah, that's definitely a cave I haven't been to and a shrine I haven't been to. I love how they have a the little death X there. It's like, this is where you died last. Just so you know, you plummeted here. Yeah, I haven't gone up this way at all, so... That's good. That's good to know. Again, that shrine might be a good thing. I hit at the cave nearby, do that, and if by then the uh, stuff all disappears, the, uh, the glowies, then I can always uh, go back to the city and get back to it. Go under here and use up. Aha. We traveled so far. This is pointless. Uh. Nate, please. I just can't do this. At least not with this cave. There's a, There are lots of other caves opened by the upheaval. Let's try a different one. This one is surely full of creatures different from anything we know. And I was already itching to go home. Uh. Come on, little sis. You can do it. I know we travel all this way. We need to gather those bright caps inside at least. 
That's what we came for. You can find them only in caves. We made it here safe and sound. I can't bear to leave until I have ten of them. Let's go in, please. We've got to. Then go by yourself, Nate. Wait, what? No, we need to go together. Oh, that aroma. That soft light. C could it be you have some bright caps? I, re I really, really want bright caps. And ten of them would be do the trick. Would you give them to me? Sure. Thank you. I didn't expect them for nothing. So here, I'll trade you this. Spicy tomato mushroom stew. Grants low-level cold resistance. A dish of fragrant mush mushrooms simmered with tomato. Healthy and rich in fiber. You're a lightsaver. Now I don't need to go into that awful cave. But I have to say, it's amazing that you collected so many bright caps. I mean, you found wait, they've, they're only found in caves like this. Yes, it is amazing. Ooh, you love a good cave, don't you? And so do I. Hey, can, no, they can hold all sorts of wonderful things, alluring things, valuable things, like the gems from ore deposits, bloom, uh, bright bloom seeds that illuminate dark places, and bright caps, of course. So, you know, if you had enough of these bright caps, then maybe you could try, you know. Uh -huh. Er, Nate, you're not thinking about that, are you? And him? Uh -huh. I never, not that, unless you know, maybe. Uh -huh. Right, we agree, I think. Uh, sorry, forget you heard anything about that sister secret. But if we meet again, it'd be fate, wouldn't it? Then we'd have to tell him. Oh, Nate, has this guy caught your eye or what? Don't be ridiculous. That was just that was just a thanks for the bright caps. But I will. Well, I will say you're scoring high and we're scoring high and low for anything here in the Hebrew region. We searched most of the south, so now we intend to go to the north. If we meet again, we'll tell you that secret of ours. Well, see you. Hey, let's head out, Megan. <laughs> see you around. Okay, I don't like the fact that she's. They said otherworldly creatures in here. Because to me, that could only mean one thing. Yeah, I'm still going in. Like, I'm not n close to this cave enough. I probably should go to the shrine first, to be honest. So I'm going to go to the shrine first, because I have a feeling that if she's talking to otherworldly entities, she's talking maybe the hands. And if she's talking the hands, I don't want to do with those at the moment. So I'd rather go to the shrine first so I can have a waypoint so I'm not, you know, traveling a thousand miles to get back here. Yeah, we're going to ignore those guys. There's the shrine I want to get to. These bramble things are really annoying. Let's head on in. I know we don't have to. What? Let's do it. A launching device. Hmm. Ah, the rocket. What happens if I throw it? Yeah, now. 
We don't want to hit it with this because that will break it. No, I don't know what that is. There we go. Okay. I guess that's for like extras, just a case. <laughs> Gotta go fast. All right. Let's give this a shot. Did I miss a treasure in here already? This is going to be interesting. Let's check it around and see if I can't find the treasure. Huh. Hopefully the treasure's at the end, because if not... Okay, I don't know where the treasure chest in this one is. I'll have to come back at some point to find it. I just kind of want to get the, the shiny. Yeah, I have to read it every time. Yeah, I got another one. How much does that make for this? We don't have to get a, yet another heart. Ah, oh, I love that. Just the darkness fading away. Oh, I have enough for another heart. Plus one. All right, pool's closed. Everybody go home. <laughs> We're done here. So now that we have that saved, we have that cave there, but there's also this cave over here. So let's go and mark, get that marked on the map at least before the shiny disappears. Oh, I saw some building construction stuff, so I thought, you know, who would be here? You know, our little, our friend. Huh. 
That's not a good sign. Do I have any pictures of bright caps? I do. Okay, so I'll just grab those. Alright. I know that things are going to break soon. This is a rock. expecting it to be ice caves. Oh, we came back. I can't see him from this angle. There. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, another bulb gem. We'll figure out where that goes eventually, but... Yes! I know if, uh, rubies give uh, firepower, but... Huh, I like my first one. Actually, yeah. Okay, seriously, I'm... Uh... I would like to, uh... Let's look around to see if I can't get any more of my arrows back. Traveler Spear. The average spear carried by travelers for protection is decayed and doesn't cut well, but the shape makes it easy for anyone to handle.
Okay. It's another one of my arrows. I know up here we got more valuable stuff. Blue hobbling horn. A hammer shaped horn with spiky bulbs. Attach a weapon to moderately increase its attack power. Or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Hobgoblin guts. Rare materials dropped by hobgoblin. Or horb goblin. It's very bitter and unsuitable for cooking, but it makes an effective elixir when cooked with a critter. Okay. So there shouldn't be any more enemies. Let's get some luminous stone. Is there more to this cave? Hold on. Head up. What's in here? Oh. That's a 12. Let's get rid of stick. A spear used by the Ruto soldiers. Its point is now decayed. It will. It still boasts quick attacks in midair. It is. It pro, um, procures a strong wind. It produces a strong wind. There we go. Produces. All right. I have wood. Yeah. Let's drop that. Let's drop some. Flint. And then... Get out of my way. Oh, another treasure chest. Yep. Feathered spear. A spear used by the Ruto soldiers. Its point is now... Okay, yeah, we already saw that. Uh, it's not as powerful as the stuff I have. Uh, you know what? Let's replace it with a boomer. Boomerang, maybe? No. Uh... Hmm. I don't know. I don't like all the stuff I have right now. Part of me wants to... I'll, you know what? I'll drop this for now. Just so I could take it. But I'm probably going to drop it. I want to just take a picture of it so that... Oh. Come on. Oh. There. So I just want to take a picture of it. There we go. Nice. Oh, I see Halibird. Do I have a torch by any chance? No. I was saying, maybe one of these other walls. But this just kind of looks like it's just there to, you know, 
hinder movement. Um, and I got the check mark on this cave anyway, so we should be good. Oh, that scared me. I was there for a second. All right, let's head to this one that they said has mysterious stuff. We'll save the game first, though. I have a bad feeling when they say, oh, it has like a mysterious something. Oh, there's a windmill over there. But yeah, when they say there's like a mysterious otherworldly something coming from here, it makes me feel it's the hands and I, I don't want to deal with the hands. Is that just bright caps over there? Yeah, okay. The second we see hands, we're fleeing, by the by. Oh, it's one of those. Toasted bright, bright cap. A whole roasted bright cap. Sure, it loses its uh, bioluminescence enzymes, but it's softer and easier to chew. What is this? Oh, soldier spear. With a rock attached to the end of it. Rock sledge. Although now decayed, this lightweight metal spear was made for royal soldiers. Because it is light and easy to handle, it enables quicker charge attacks. Alright, do I have anything that's low? Uh, hmm. Ah, uh, not enough for me to want to abandon it. Oh, it's a uh, link link. Or like like. Okay, now we can head back and grab it. Come on, open up. Come on, take it down. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> yep. Feather Edge, a double edged Ruto sword with a decayed blade. Swing it to produce a strong wind. Um, sure, let's drop that for a second. We'll take this, drop that so we can take a picture of it. We'll take a picture of the boomerang as well. I'll take the boomerang. So far, so good. We haven't run into hands, which is good. Um, we haven't run ore either, which is not that great because we want ore. Okay, we found some ore, but it doesn't look like it's much. Hmm. 
Hmm. Da, 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 da. Oh, here. I think spicy peppers add fire ability. No. All right. Let's try this. There we go. That will cause it to burn. Sorry, I got a little bit close to the mic there. Uh, but let's go up here and get what's in here. Frostbite shirt. Oh, cool. Made of ancient ritual. Okay, made with ancient rituals. This item's cold absorbing cloth produces frost and low temperature environments. Cold weather attack plus, nice. All right, so there is something else in here. There. But I say we haven't run into our uh, friend yet. So he has to be up here somewhere. There he is. Oh. All right. There we go. Let's head down. Oh, it's saying this cave's still not 100%. Oh, there we go. It's because I didn't grab the uh, crystal yet. Nice. All right. So this cave wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I like this. Okay, so we still are seeing some faint light from the, uh... From that, so let's head up here to see if we can't see any more in the distance. I don't think two rubies are going to help us. Yeah, I don't think the, um, what's it called is going to help us. Two ru uh, rubies. I think we need at least a few, a little bit more. That's Death Mountain in the distance. Okay, I see one more all the way out that way. And then there's something all the way over there. So there's the horse stable. Yeah, I think I've been to uh, most of these caves at this point, I think. So let's head over here.
Let's see what we can make by selling some stuff. Yep, we're gonna fall. Oh, no, we made it. Alright, so we had the pants. We need the shirt and the... So. We're here to sell. Alright, yeah. That's not gonna get me enough. To buy either one of those. Anything else in here that's of, like, some type of value? That I'm willing to sell? Not really. I mean, I can sell some of the higher stuff. Like, maybe if I sell a whole bunch of these. But, yeah, it's in a... I mean, I'll do something. Oh. Jassel's online. Alright, let's keep looking around, see what else we can sell here. What do we have a lot of that we might be able to sell for something? Alright, so that gives us enough potentially to buy the shirt. Or it's the most expensive one. This is the most expensive one. So let's buy this. Squall headdress. A Ruto accessory made from snowbird feathers. It's adorned with a ruby. A gem that harnesses the power of fire to make cold climates more tolerable. So we still need to get 500 to get that. Let's see what we got else to sell in here. What we can do. And let's find someplace nice. And I got a few amiibos. Let's see if the amiibos will give us anything fun. I mean, they may, they may not. Who knows? But it's worth a shot. Here, let's find a nice safe spot to stand so we're not losing anything. Yeah, this should be good. All right, I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. So let's give uh, some Amiibos a shot. Actually, let's check to see what the Amiibos will give us. All right. Sorry about this. I just want to look it up to see what each of these do. Okay. Let's try that. what we got in here. Cobble Crusher. A Goron made two-handed weapon. 
It's made from thick, hard metal. It has no cutting edge. Its weight, but its weight and hard surface make it a great tool for breaking rock. Sure. Let's drop this and put it there. All right. Does it look like many of them are gonna give us gemstones? Uh, let's see. Maybe that one. Nope, that one did not. And it gave us some herbs, swift carrot. This carrot is cultivated extensively in villages. It strengthens the legs and hips when cooked into a dish, which increases your movement speed. Okay. A mighty thistle. This medicinal plant is known for its sharp thorns as for the fruit it bears. The fruit contains a compound that increases attack power when cooked into a dish. Oh, Hyrule Princess Fabric. Tough fabric bearing a princess's design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Alright, so I'll only do those two. It doesn't look like many of them are giving me what I want. So, let's just keep going. See if there's anything else I can sell to make up that difference. I want the full set because a lot of times those full sets give you like a special type of something, but I don't want to sell those because I know that's going to be something else. Alright, uh. Oh. Ember. Yeah, this sell. You know, I'm not gonna use the ever really for anything. This sell it. Nice. All right. So we got ember. We definitely want to keep the flint in that. Maybe some key size. Key swings. I know I'm like hindering myself by selling a lot of this stuff, but all right, no, let's try selling only. Let's just keep doing this. This will hopefully uh, boost this up at some point. We're so close at this point. It's what, 500 to buy this? Or 550? 500. So close. We're like third, uh, like 20 something, 23 away, I think. I think this should push us over. Yeah. All right, now you can buy it. Snow Quill Tunic, lined with molten Ruto feathers. This tunic was made by Ruto artisans by Herulians visiting cold climates. 
The feathers are stacked in each layer to retain body heat. Thanks a whole bunch for buying from us. And now... There we go. I had the full set on, right? Yeah. But does it give you a full set bonus? I thought it would. Oh well. But, I think... Let's test this out, though. Actually, how many arrows do I have before I go? Two? Let's buy some arrows. Do I have enough for arrows or no? Probably not. Eh. I don't like saying add to that, but... So that's the place for sleep. I don't really have many air... Uh, what's the sell for arrows? Yeah, it's 20... 20 for 5? Sure. Let's find something to sell. I know, I know, I'm ridiculous. Here. Yeah, we'll buy at least two. There we go. Now let's head. Now let's head out. Finally, we can head out to where we need to head. I think this is the most recent one. I'm hoping I won't freeze now. Since I literally have like three layers of warm stuff. There's two on. Alright. So it looks like we should be set. So let's get going. Okay, where are we heading? Is it over here that we need to go? It looks like this is where we need to go. Alright, let's keep going up. This is nuts. We gotta get above the... Yeah, this is all nuts. I seriously want to know more about the Zonai. I need to find more of the Dragon's Tears. That's the next highest one. I don't know if I'll make it onto it though. There's the next one. This is so cool though. Just jumping from platform to platform to get up there. I think that's it. We might not make it though. So that's why I'm aiming for this boat here.
Because that is definitely close enough. Yes. So now we made it, I think. Well, there's more boats up there, but I think they're symbolic. Because it doesn't look like it can actually get to them. Alright, let's head up. Oh, never mind, there is a way up. I didn't realize, I didn't realize. I'm like, oh man, maybe those boats are just symbolic, but no, they're, they're the real McCoy, I think. Or, I'm like, whoa, 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 that was close. Now this one I think actually does just bring you right up and above. Potentially, yeah, I can land on this. Get up and over. There's whatever we need to get to. I wonder, was that the dungeon or is there going to be more dungeon dungeon? No, we don't want to do that. Wind Temple, the legendary storm wind arc. So this is what was waiting for us in that huge cloud. This is a storm one arc from the kids song. Huh? Huh? What the? This proves it, Link. The blizzard that's been pounding Ruto Village is coming from there. Oh yeah, didn't I see someone here a minute ago? Weird. I could swear that they were just here. Yeah, I would say it takes it. That's a way to teleport back here. like it's shut tight but the source of the blizzard was has got to be right under that hatch is it there some way we can get it open that sound there it is again Emphasis on should. <laughs> my words. Okay. I heard it for sure this time. It was calling out to me loud and clear. The source of the blizzard messing up the village has uh, has got to be under this hatch. If that voice was right, it'll open once we find a way to release all five blocks. We're so close. Come on, Link. Let's go figure out how to open those locks. Nah. I think the re the village needs to freeze a little bit. Oh. Well, thank you. Kind of forgot that he could do that, but... Alright, let's save before we do anything else.
I like that it's kind of like a normal dungeon again. I wonder if there's going to be keys and stuff. I'm just exploring. Don't mind me. Oh, there's a Zonai warrior. Oh, with a bow. <laughs> Thank you, bud. There we go. Alright, so let's head back this way. Huh. It's like a cannon on that. Weird. There has to be something in that ice, right? They wouldn't set up this challenge if there wasn't. Soldier spear, th uh, soldiers, soldier two spear, zonite spear made of zonite. It resonates with attached zonite devices to slightly increase its attack power. Okay, it's a 15. Uh, you know, for that, we can, uh, we'll ditch the, da, 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 da. you know what, let's ditch, yeah, the, I think we have to ditch. You know, we don't even use the bonk stick, the bounce stick. Okay. There has to be a way to get in there. Okay, it looks like there's a ladder down. So maybe we have to come back to that one. Yeah, let's head inside. go. Easy puzzle. Oh, crap. I take it they don't want me to use that, but I think I already have one. Right? Yeah. Nice. Alright, let's head back in here. You can change the world map oh, to the world map with the dungeon map with X. Okay. Well, that doesn't have a handle, does it? Oh, 
Flame and Mirror Club, so the Flame and Mirror Spear is better. Uh, I don't know. What's in here? Oh, an opal. That's nice. Is there really no weapons for... Oh, no. There are really no weapons that I would like to get rid of. You know what? We can drop this for now. Did I ever take a picture of one of those? Yeah, I think I did. Yep. There we go. It's a nice spear. Okay. Let's keep looking around, see if we can't find a way in anywhere. There we go. I take it this is the way down. Yeah, it is. Oh, it would have dropped me in water. That's good. That's nice of the game. Yes, I do not want a weapon. We're in. Zonite shield. The shield used by Zon the Zonai. Um. A shield used by the Zonite and made of a Zonite. It's, it lowers the energy consumption of any attached Zonite device. Nice. Okay, so that's not something special, I don't think, I guess. I want to see that. Oh, it's just a rusty shield underneath. Okay. I love how there's just like uh, rooms to get treasure, but not. Oh. I caught my shield on fire there for a second. Let's see if there's a way to get higher up. Not really. Hmm. 
Another treasure chest. Nice. I need that. Yeah, I don't want to look anything up, but... Not really giving me much of an option, is it? There we go. Well, we made it inside, at least. Okay, he spotted us. how you get around this. And the tool just walks right in and sets off all the alarms. Nice. A ruby. Can I make it to there? Yeah, there we go. Oh. Well. I think I can teleport back to here, so. Let's keep going. Okay, so we got what's over there. Break these open. A lot of arrows. More arrows. All right, so I can't do anything in here. I'm going to assume I need to go down. I think I have something that still has one. Yep. Okay, that's not what I want. get over there. Maybe. That's what I'm going to say. A um, big old maybe. If I jump, though, no, I, I won't make that. Because that's going to drain up way too much stuff. <laughs> I love how Toolin is just like, you got this, bud! It's like, can you carry me over? Nah, nah, nah. You, you, you got this, buddy. I, I believe in you. There we go.
I'm assuming this is an open th that. Right? Yeah. So I can come in through that door. Let's see you. Get out of here. Come on, get out of here. Yeah, I'm not letting you fuse that ruby to yourself. I'll take that ruby. Alright. Uh, there must be a way up. Maybe here? Up we go. There we go. Oh, so many arrows. I'm so happy I have this many arrows now. Oh. I thought that the tool was something else. Captain One Rapier. His already made weapon. Okay. Uh, you know what? Uh, da, da, da. I need a rusty something to stay around. I don't remember really picking this up, but, uh, yeah, let's drop it. Alright, let's keep going. Oh. This one of the things we need. No. Oh, it is. Maybe there's something we're missing still? Because it's not glowing like that's something we need. I mean, maybe we could go up here? Huh. Is there something up there? No. I really don't know what this room is for. Maybe if I... Here's a... Idea. I mean, they have all this stuff around. If I attach it and then have Tulin do this, yeah, that's it. That was smart. Ow, Tulin. I need you. Or not. Hey, look at that. Is this for one of the locks? It's kind of shaped like a windmill. I don't know.
Yeah, this is just like a traditional dungeon, which is nice. Nice. So we got that one. So I'm going to assume that I need to go down here. Let's save. Oh, we got one of the locks. I'm also going to assume there's going to be a boss fight when this is all done. Is there something below this? No. Hmm. Maybe, is it too far away? Oh, okay, that's not what I wanted, but okay. Yeah, it's too far. Huh. Not sure what to do with that. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I don't know if this is what they wanted, but this is what we're getting. Uh... There we go. Sapphire, flesh is blue or mined from the natural rock formations. Sapphires contain the very essence of ice. They, they've been known to fetch a high price since ancient times. All right, let's keep going. Does this will hurt me? No. Oh, I know what to do here. This is rewind. Do that. Uh, we need to eat. No. There we go. There we go. That will give me some stuff. But what we want to do is this. That opens that. This is good. And then there's a puzzle to be had here. But before that, a save. Huh. 
there's something else that I'm missing in this room. Maybe up top. No. Was there supposed to be like a gear that I was supposed to find somewhere around here? Because that's what it's missing. It's missing a gear. Maybe. Now bear with me. Maybe. No. Oh. So it's attached to that, but not attached to the other. Did I just attach it to the wall? I did. What the heck is going on? Why can't it attach to both? There we go. Strong win, number two. That we can. There's still one really far down. And there's one back that way. Huh. That's the question, is there a way to go f even further down on this ship? There is. Come on, I see it now. Clear as day. But I missed. Come on, so we have to reach something. It's right down here at the bottom. There we go. Ooh, that shit looks cool. I want that shield. Do I have his own ice shield already? I think I might. Yeah, I do. Right, so we got the zone ice shield. Oh, we already have one of those. But, tooling. There's number three. Two more to go. Now the question is though, the other two, 
How do I get to them? Okay, I was in that room. respond great oh get out of here Do I have a strong contract bow? Okay, I got the normal one. Okay. So I'm assuming what I need to do is go back to here where I was before. Or no, I wasn't in this room. Okay, never mind. I kind of have an idea about one of them. see there is a thing at the top the idea I have is Turn this like such. Huh. Hold on. I think I got this. I just need to do it right. There we go. Oh, this would have been like the easiest one to do. Huh. Well. One more to go. We only have one left. Which is somehow up there. Yeah, there's uh, definitely something in here. But I wonder if it's just as simple as... Yeah, it is. Oh. There we go. Last one. Right. That's it, Link. We've unlocked them all. We should be able to open up the hatch on the main deck now. Come on, let's go.
Soldier's Blade. Okay. Um, you know what? That's I'm never gonna use the boomerang. Soldier's Blade, a large sword used by the Zonite and made of Zonite. It resonates with attached Zonite devices to slightly increase its attack power. All right. Did that turn off the lasers or no? No. Alright, so really. Why don't we just teleport back then? I'm hoping we have enough pictures left for uh, the boss as well. I'm going to save here. Good. We still have plenty of pictures. Okay. Scourge of the Wind. Colger. Okay, how do we do damage to it? That's the question. inside wherever that is. Greatest picture, but it will do. Yeah. I'm gonna say teleport away for a little bit. If I see it. Are you serious? 
Seriously, game? Where did it last save? Was it my save before I go into the boss fight? Probably. Uh. There you go. Right now, if I save what after I've taken that, maybe. Let's see. I just want to check Hyrule Compendium. Yeah. going into a portal. I don't know where it went off to. Okay. I probably should have been floating for that, but I just need to wait for it to shoot off its next Yeah, there we go. One, two. Did I do it? Yeah, I did. So I've taken down two of them, but it hasn't like lowered his HP that much. I don't know if I can do this. Yeah, I can't do that. The music is so good. Phase two. I see that. Okay, so now it's in a circle. you've helped. But we need to get over to this. I don't know if these will actually save or not, but it's, I mean, it's worth a shot.
There we go. So we got one left. Gotta avoid the tornadoes. Okay, maybe I miss. Oh, come on. I'm a little off. Come on. Really? It's like Link won't point straight down. There we go. One, two. heart container. Oh, it's another one of those beads. Heart container, a rare item that restores some of your life force you lost to the gloom, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Let's uh, save. served Hyrule's first king. I was a Rito warrior and a sage with control of the wind. Where you fight, the winds follow. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You make me proud. That monster you defeated, the source of that intense blizzard, it was summoned by the demon king. He thought it could stop you Obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? This is a lot to learn all of a sudden. I know. But listen while I tell you what happened in the past. A tale of the imprisoning war. And the mission our people must accomplish. Years ago, when the kingdom of Hyrule was still young. A great evil, the Demon King, descended on the land. He sought to wipe out anyone who opposed him. But Raru, the first king of Hyrule, requested my aid, as well as that of five other warriors, to help in the fight. Raru entrusted us 
with stones. Objects that amplify our formidable abilities. I've carried one into battle as the Sage of Wind. It was thrilling to fight alongside my fellow sages. Yet we were still no match for the Demon King's overwhelming power. His magic was staggering, and I was unable to slip past his defenses, no matter how hard I tried. In the end, King Lalu realized that we would not be able to defeat the Demon King. To save our world, King Lalu sacrificed himself and sealed the Demon King away. So that was the imprisoning one. The rest of us survived that climactic battle. And I would soon receive a visitor with a request that would define the future of the Rito. It was another of the six sages, the Sage of Time. The Demon King will return. The magic binding him will be undone. When that time comes, a noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. Link will only succeed with Garito's help. Summon the winds and support this hero. It was clear what part Garito would play. It will be an honor to defeat the Demon King. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, Garito's Sage of Wind will awaken once more. And you can count on the full support of Garito. Now you know about the imprisoning war, and the mission I accepted on our behalf. You've saved Rito Village, but there's more to do. The Demon King will soon recover his full strength. Tulin, my brave fledgling, you must take up my secret stone, and honor the Sage of Time's request. Fight the Demon King. With the swordsman, Link. So it's my mission to fight the Demon King with you? Link! This is so, so amazing! I can't believe my ancestor gave me such an important mission. And it involves fighting alongside you to save the world! If we don't do anything, then the world is gonna be in big trouble. I can't let that happen. I'll do this! I'll happily take this secret stone! Sage of Wind, swear to fight by your side until the end. Take this. It's proof that I'm with you.
use that ring to call on my power anytime, all right? <sighs> okay, let's head back to the village and tell Dad. All right, wait, 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 break real fast. It's, I finally found out how to pronounce the name. It's Rito. <laughs> I don't know if I could pronounce it wrong, but Rito, okay. Also, I'm very confused at the timeline anymore. You guys, you did it! Yeah, turns out it was easy once we started working together. Hmm. This is no small feat. I still can't believe this storm when arc from the children's song was real. Sorry. Me neither. He could have not could have knocked me over with a feather. For a job well done, Tulin. Huh. Wait, what? This bow meant so much to you. Now you're giving it to me? Hmm. It always, was always my intention to give it to you once you became... Oh, you came of age as a warrior. Dad. <laughs> Thank you. I'll prove to you I be I've become a warrior you could trust or something I didn't read it fast enough. Hmm. Hey Link, that woman that the vision my ancestor showed us, didn't she look just like the like Princess Zelda to you? Yeah. Do you think that was the real princess? I mean, it seemed like a long, long time ago. Hmm. There's such a there's still a bunch of unanswered questions. I gotta know more about the figure we saw on the storm with Ark, so I'm gonna go look into it personally. Next time you see me, I'll have more information about Princess Zelda, so check in with me sometime, okay? And remember, with my sage power, the two of us can keep working together no matter what. Vow of Tulin, Sage of Wind. Proof of the Vow of Tulin, Sage of Wind. Use it to summon or dismiss the avatar of Tulin. All right. Regional phenomenon. Para. Para su uh, suggests investigating the major phenomena, phenomena in various regions as a next step in the search for P Princess Zelda. There are three more regions where these strange phenomena are happening. Crisis at Hyrule Castle. Where Princess Zelda is remains a mystery. Pira said you might learn more by looking into the major phenomena that are troubling some regions. She marked them on your map. Hyrule Castle remains strangely in the sky. Though you saw someone who looked like the princess leave it. Vanishing into light. Alright.
I think that's a good place to end it for the night. Let me take a save. All right. Yeah. So that, as I said, that's. I think this is where it's gonna. I'm gonna end it for tonight. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye.